With Docker Desktop Enterprise 3.0, you get a complete tool set for local development and testing of containers. Let's go through some of the new features of this release and advantages of using Desktop Enterprise. First, let's talk about getting Docker Desktop installed. Now, you can always install Docker Desktop yourself with the built-in graphical installer, assuming you have full admin rights to your machine. But what if your organization prefers to automate the rollout themselves? With Docker Desktop Enterprise, your organization has more flexibility and control over installing and managing it with the new MSI and PKG formats. IT can now control the configuration of Desktop Enterprise centrally through config files that let you preset the various settings and optionally lock those settings from being changed. Once you've got Docker Desktop running, you might want some local container orchestration. As usual, Docker Swarm and Kubernetes are both included and ready to be enabled. Swarm is still just a single command line to initialize from your shell. And if you prefer Kubernetes, well, it only needs to be enabled from the settings interface. And you can quickly control your Kubernetes context within the desktop menus. You can even disable and enable Kubernetes from that same menu with a one-click stop and start. Docker Desktop configures your shell so that the Docker CLI and the Docker Compose tool are configured to work against your local Docker. Only these aren't the community edition binaries, these are the same enterprise versions that your Docker enterprise clusters use. You'll also have the Cube Control CLI for working with your local single node Kubernetes install, which has full certified Kubernetes conformance with the upstream projects. Now that you have all the enterprise editions of tooling, it's important to keep your local developer versions in sync with the various downstream Docker enterprise clusters that you have. And the new version packs take care of that for you. With Desktop Enterprise, you can swap version packs of Docker Enterprise versions, which matches up all the CLI and cluster tooling of Docker, Swarm, and Kubernetes, so you can be sure your local development and testing matches those versions in your production clusters. One thing enterprises have in common is that they have lots of custom applications. Often, those apps are built on common organizational standards and templates, and Docker Desktop Enterprise brings a set of command line and graphical interface features to help speed new app development. Let's take a quick look at two new features, Application Templates and Application Designer. Docker templates can include many of the parts you need when creating a new app, including custom base images, common Compose service YAML, parameters for your app like external ports or upstream image versions, and can even include boilerplate code and code editor configs. Desktop Enterprise comes with many common templates built in using Docker Hub official images. And of course, you can create custom templates on your own. Next, let's talk about Docker Application Designer. For developers, you can start coding quickly, even if you know nothing about the Docker files or containers that make up the application. Think of Application Designer as the graphical interface on top of the application templates. Out of the box, you'll see some common multi-service templates that we can customize and start from here, while Docker Compose runs them in the background. We can then get to work on the source files that reside on our host, while the app runs in a Docker container and is available via the localhost URL. Your source files are mounted into the container so it'll see the changes immediately. If we need to select a set of services to create a custom multi-tier app, we can do that here as well by choosing to create a new custom application and selecting the services to add to our stack. Underneath the covers, the application templates have created a Docker app so that you can easily bundle up all the container images, configuration, and parameters and share them on Docker Hub, Docker Trusted Registry, or any other container registry. Of course, if you're a developer who doesn't really know much about containers or Docker apps, you could also just commit your code from here push it to your code repository, and all the Docker app bits will be there for the rest of your team to run it just the way you did in Application Designer. To learn more about Docker Enterprise 3.0 and Docker Desktop Enterprise 3.0, visit docker.com.